For this project, I am using Red Heart Super Saver, which is a medium worsted weight, 100% four ply yarn. Um, you don't have to use this, you just any four ply yarn will work. And there are 364 yards in this skein, and you're going to need about 1200 yards to finish this project. And the color I am using is called Cafe Latte. And you're also going to need if you want to do it like mine, three one half in one and a half inch wooden buttons, but you don't have to put the buttons on, or you can use different sizes and different amounts of buttons. That's completely up to you. But I used wooden ones, and I used one they're one and a half inch in size. And then you're going to need a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. Okay, we we're going to start on the collar, um, and I already got my. Uh, collar dump so I'm going to show you on a smaller scale but you want to start off with a chain of 91 91 and once you get your chain of 91 done you just put one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and remember we never count this one that's on our hook so one two and put a single crochet and now what you just want to do it's real easy is just work one single crochet in every stitch for the length of your chain Just like this. And when you get to the end of your chain, you should have a total of 90 single crochets. Remember, mine's smaller. I'm just doing a quick little sample here. And when you get to the end and you have your 90 single crochets, all you want to do is chain one and turn your work. And then we're going to start by putting one single crochet right back into this very first stitch. Like that. And then it's one single crochet again in every stitch across until you get to the end of the row again. And when you get to the end of the row, you still should have 90 single crochets. So basically we're just doing rows of single crochet and at the end of every row you should always have 90 stitches and then you chain one and turn and then you start your row again in the very very first stitch this chain one doesn't count as a stitch so you just work right back in to that same stitch and do your first single crochet and then you work again one single crochet in every stitch so we're just doing rows of one single crochet in every stitch. 90 stitches at the end of each row, and you want to do that for a total of 24 rows. 24 rows of 90 single crochet. Okay, once you get your 24 rows done, we're going to be working in rounds now, and we're not going to be chaining. We're not. I mean, we're not going to be working back and forth. So what we're going to do is take your piece, and here's where I left off. I haven't tied off or anything. I'm going to fold it all the way over and just basically fold it in half like that. So you can see that it's kind of just folded in half. Now what you want to do is slip stitch into the first stitch of the, this row, the bottom row here. Slip stitch right into it and now I'm going to chain one and now we're going to be working rounds. So I'm going to go ahead and double crochet right back into that very same stitch. Double crochet. And now I'm going to work one double crochet in the next, I want to have 22 double crochets in a row. So this is number one and then this is number two and I want to have 22 in a row. There's three Four, five, six, seven, twenty-one, and twenty-two. So I got twenty-two now. Here's the very first one we did, and I did twenty-two double crochet across. Now, 
Now we're going to form one of the points of the poncho. There's going to be two points on it, and this is going to be the first point. And this is how we're going to form every point. We're going to go in and do two double crochet into the same stitch. And then I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to go back into the same stitch again and do two doubles again. And that's every point is always formed the same way. Now I'm going to work one double crochet into the next 44 stitches and then I'm going to do my next point. So 44 in a row now. There's one, two, three, four, five, and here's 43 and 44. So I've done 44 double crochets since my last, since my first point there. And now I'm going to put another point into the next stitch. So what I'm going to do is put two double crochet, one, two, and then I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to go back into that same stitch and do two more double crochets. One and two. Now I'm going to put one double crochet in the remaining stitches and there should be, if we count it right, 22 stitches left. So go ahead and work one double crochet in remaining 22 stitches. Okay, when you make it to the end, and you should have your 20 have your 22 stitches there from the last point you want to go ahead and slip stitch into this first double crochet like that and now we're going to be working back post double crochets around all the stitches until we get to the point so we're going to chain one and then we're going to work a back post double crochet around this first stitch here i go like if you look at it you can see that there's the chain one. You want to yarn over and go in between that chain one and the stitch. Like, go back through it like that. And then do your double crochet. Like that. And then we're going to back post double crochet around the next one. So we yarn over and we go at it from the behind like that. And then back around so the stitch is on the post or so the post is on the back of your hook and then do your double crochet then you go to your next one yarn over do the same thing go from the back and then back around and that puts the post you can see it on the back of your hook and then do your double crochet and we're going to work this back post double crochet in every stitch until we get to the first point. Okay, I've made it here to my first point and I'm just going to do my back post double crochet around these two stitches of the point until I get to the chain two space. And then when I get to the chain two space, what I'm going to do is make my point again. I'm going to put two doubles, just regular double crochets, a chain of two, and then two more doubles back into that same chain two space. Like that. And now I'm going to continue my back post double crochet starting with this very first one here until I get to my next point so this is a really easy pattern as long as you can master the back post double I always have trouble it always gets hung up on me like it's doing right now So I'm going to work one back post double crochet in every stitch until I get to 
my next point and this is kind of what it's starting to look like you can see it's making a ridge along it okay when I make it to my next point I'm just going to do the same thing I did before I'm going to back post double crochet around the two stitches leading up to the point oops And now I'm going to go into the chain 2 space and I'm going to work my point, which is 2 doubles, a chain of 2, and 2 more doubles, all into that same chain 2 space, like that. And now I'm going to continue with my back post, double crochet until I get back to the beginning starting with this very first one here like that so I'm going to continue this until I get to the end of my round or back to the beginning I guess Okay, when you make it back to the beginning, what you want to do is slip stitch into this first back post double crochet, so right here. And now what it is, it's actually really easy. It's just a repeat of those two rows. So we're going to chain one, work one double crochet right back into that same stitch, and now it's just one double crochet in every stitch. So we get to our first point. So we're working double crochet, regular double crochet. We're not back post this time. In the top of every stitch until I get to my first point. Okay, I'm coming to my first point and I'm just working a double crochet in every stitch up until the chain two space. And then when I get to the chain two space, it's right through the space, two doubles. A chain of two, and then two more doubles right into that chain two space. And remember, that's how we form every point. And now I'm going to start. Make sure you get this first one right here working one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my next point. So that is kind of what it's starting to look like now. Okay, I'm coming up to my next point, and I'm just putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get up to the chain two space. And then in the chain two space, I'm going to make my point. I'm going to do two doubles, chain of two, and two more doubles. And then I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch now until I get back to my starting point. Okay, when you make it back to the beginning, you just go ahead and slip stitch into your first double crochet. And now we're going to do the back post double double crochet row. So we're going to chain one and back post this very first one. Remember, we don't go around this little spot here because that's to chain one. Go right in between here like that. That's this is the only stitch you have to do that on because of that chain one. Like that. And then you work, continue working one back post double. 
in every stitch until you get to your first point. So basically it's just a repeat of a row of double crochet and a row of back post double crochet and then a row of double crochet and a row of back post double crochet until you get the length that you want your poncho to be. And you can see it's just going to make rib rows. And you always make your point the same. Two doubles, a chain two, and two doubles. In, every one, in each one of the chain two spaces in every round. And by doing that, it makes the poncho get bigger each round at the points. So you just want to keep repeating these two rows. Okay, what I did is I went ahead and did 35 rounds of the uh, double crochet, back post double crochet rate repeat. So 35 rounds, not counting the collar. And my last round was just a regular double crochet. Now, if you want to do it shorter or longer, that's fine. It's not going to change the pattern any. You can adjust the length to whatever you want. But I'm not going to tie off. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around the bottom with a row of single crochet just to clean up the edge a little bit. So I just went ahead and slip stitched right there into my first double crochet just like normal. So now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go right back into that same stitch <clears throat> and single crochet. And now I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my first point. And this is just going to make the edges look a little more finished. And if you want though, you can always put fringe or whatever, or a different type of edging. That's completely up to you. But I just kind of wanted to make, give it a clean line at the end. Remember, you can just you can change this however you want to your likings. I know a lot of people like fringe. I like fringe. I think it looks pretty. I hate putting fringe on, so I don't use it very often because it's time consuming for me. But I'm gonna go around, I'm just gonna work one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my first point. Okay, I've made it to my first point here, this chain two space, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put four single crochets right through the chain two space. And that'll kinda help hold it down so it doesn't flip up as much. Like that, there's four. And then I'm going to start again with this very first one here, putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my next point. And then when I get to my next point, I'm just going to put four single crochets through the chain two space again, just like we did here. And then I'm just going to keep working one single crochet in every stitch until I get back to my starting point. Okay, once you make it all the way back around after that row of single crochet, you just want to slip stitch into your first single crochet. Not the chain one you did, but the first single crochet. And then tie that off, clip your yarn. You can hide that tail. One more thing I'm going to do before I add the buttons is I'm going to go around the collar to put edging on that, single crochet edging on that to clean up all these edges too. So I'm going to start with the right side of your work facing you, you can see this is the front of my work and my collar is up so it's going to flip down like that. But you want to start, this is the front, you want to start on the back piece of the collar right here on the inside. That way when you flip the collar down, the stitches are going to be right side up. So kind of right here. at the point just kind of any kind of like where the first single crochet row starts you can start your yarn right there and then what you want to do is chain one 
I'm gonna turn my camera just a little bit. I can't really move things so big like that. And now what you want to do is go by right back into that same stitch and single crochet like that. And now you're gonna put one single crochet and every stitch up the side of the collar. There we go. Up the side of the collar like this. And it's kind of hard to tell, I guess, where they go. Just kind of try to follow the rows. I kind of just go around the edge like that. And this is going to make the collar look more finished. It's going to put a nice clean edge on it. And I'm going to go all the way up the side of the collar. like this and then when I get up here to the point I'm almost there and you can pull it out and you can see how much cleaner that looks by doing that putting a single crochet okay when I make it up here to the point what I'm going to do is put three single crochets in that corner stitch so there's one two and three and then I'm gonna just kind of start working down the long side of the collar putting one single crochet in every stitch again and that putting three there kind of will help that corner around the corner out a little bit so I'm just going to continue putting one single crochet in every stitch all along top part here all along the whole collar Ugh. until I get around the top here until I get to this other corner right here okay I've made it to the next corner stitch and I'm just going to go ahead and put three single crochets in this other corner so there's one two three and now I'm going to work down this other side putting one single crochet along the side and it's again it's going to be kind of hard to see you just kind of guesstimate there with your rows where your row ends that's kind of what I do You want to do that all the way down here to the end. Okay, I've made it back to the beginning. And you, if you open it up here, you can see that this is where we started. And if you flip it over, you can see that this kind of space right here, it's actually the, where we slip stitched the first row together. So I'm just going to kind of skip all that. And I'm just going to slip stitch into my first single crochet over here. Not the chain one that we did, but the first single crochet. Pull it tight. And then tie that off. Okay, flip your yarn. And hide your tails. And now, when you... Let me get this turned over to the front. Now when you flip your collar down, those stitches that we just did are right side up since we worked the way that we worked. And now one last thing is you can put buttons down the collar if you want. You don't have to, but if you want to. I'm gonna put three, and I'm just gonna use the same yarn and a yarn needle to sew them on. You can use thread if you want. 
You can use one button, two button, three but bunch of little buttons, no buttons. Uh, you can use a anything you want, a clip. It doesn't have to be what I'm doing. But I'm just going to sew mine on like that. I'm not going to sew it to the poncho. I'm just going to sew it to the neckline. If you want to sew it to the poncho to hold it, you can. Just make sure that you're able to get it upright and straight and you know exactly what, how the collar is going to lay before you sew it to the poncho. But I'm just going to sew it right on to the to the collar. I'm not going to sew it on to the big piece. Like I said, I'm just going to use the yarn needle and a piece of the matching yarn and I'm just going to evenly space out my buttons. So I'm going to start kind of one right down here towards the bottom. A little bit in and I'm going to sew it on. And you can use regular thread and needle too. You don't have to use yarn like I am. But just like to sew it on like you normally would sew on a button and then you go to your next one and kind of get them evenly spaced like that. 